Well, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome along. If you've been here before, welcome back. Well, back then another video today and yeah, out while camping. I ain't done one of these for ages. I do love a bit of wild camping now and again. Now the temperature's a bit cold at the minute. It's gonna drop down to about minus four. So to me, that's a perfect time to go camping. Happy days. Right, I've got about an hour's worth of sunlight left. So I'm gonna set up the shelter. I got a brand new tent today. Uh, I haven't used it yet. I've owned it for about nine months. Still in its packaging. So we're gonna try that one out tonight. Um, got a new bed I want to try out as well, got a few bits and bobs so anyway guys, let's get on with this one well I'm not going to show you me setting up the tent because as I say I've never done it before so it's probably going to be a lot of swearing involved me scratching my head and wondering how things get together but anyway I will bring you back once I've done it happy days guys Oh, right, here we are guys <coughs> yeah, I've still got a bit of a uh, Bit of sunlight left. I've still got to do some firewood prep yet. I had to go all stealthy earlier because I had a load of lads. It sounded like they was coming into this part of the woodland. But anyway, new tent. Yeah, let me show you this. Here's a kind of a budget tent. I'll go through one in a sec, but yeah. The tent I'm using tonight is yeah, the Euro Hike backpacker 2DLX. I've never tried it, but to be fair, it looks a nice tent. Apart from the luminous guide strings, I'm gonna have to change them for a bit of, a bit of cordage. And uh, yeah, I got the old DD tarp. Just using this for a bit of seating area. Yeah, so I've got some messes, so I can hopefully get a fire going. I need the fire going on, because if I don't get that going, I have tea for me tonight. Yeah, so I've got the tarp up here, of course, the chair. Yeah, it's not looking too shabby to be honest, if it looks a little step back, almost looking stealthy isn't it? Yeah, <clears throat> and uh, have a little look inside the tent, yeah it's not looking too bad is it? I got a little pump up mattress trying to keep me off the floor, only a cheap jobby from Amazon, I've got my uh, three season sleeping bag because I can't really afford a four but what I've done is I've got my old sleeping bag what I'm using as a, a blanket as well but see what it see what it's like in the night see if I change it over to have it below me because obviously when I normally come out camping I normally stay in my hammock when I come out to this particular bit of woods but yeah so I'm gonna be laying on the floor and that's where you lose a lot of body heat anyway get on the wood patch, shall we? There's a load of lads making a load of noise down there. I don't know if they were just carried them walking past, but they were that side of the woods earlier. But where this camp bit is, there's a little pathway there, which is pretty much used by the estate. It has got fresh tracks on there, but not in the last few days, probably a couple of weeks or so. And then the opposite side, yeah, there's another um, estate track. People do generally stick to the thought paths. But these lads, they seem to be hovering. Well, this might get interesting later. I don't think they know I'm there. <laughs> Stealth camping at its best. Point of stealth camping is not letting people know you're here. 
No, you know, if they know a bloke on his own is in the woods. Yeah, I'll give him some entertainment later on, won't it? Trying to scare the shit out of me. Right, these are a good idea. Don't focus, where are they? Yeah, basically all they are is cotton balls. You melt a bit of uh, Vaseline and let the cotton balls soak it up. Great for lighting fires, they burn for a couple of minutes, they do. Yeah, I got the idea off that from uh, Hayes Outdoors, the king of wild camping. Yeah. Alright guys, as you can tell, it's getting a bit late now. So, yeah, it's getting dark. I want to get a fire on again. at the bottom it gives it air circulation and the start off with the twigs build up a nice bit of heat behind it and say everything's damp at the moment so you don't want to smother it either. Normally we'd put a bit of stuff in there. It'll be alright. Give it a stand. I say normally, but I've never done this in the belly cam on a fire before. Happy days. 
Well, that's the honey and mustard chicken now on a slow cook. I got it on the uh, pot holder, just over the over the flame, so cooks it nice and slow, so it'll be nice and tender. Yeah, lovely re recipe that. Easy as easy as hell that one. Yeah, just just a bit of mustard, honey, and chicken. I say I forgot to get my stock. It's nice to have a bit of stock in there as well. But uh, anyway. Cheers guys, here's to another night. Stealth wild camping. Honey and mustard chicken cooked on a campfire. Yeah, as I say, as soon as you get away from that fire, Jesus Christ, it's missing up again probably because of that. But bloody hell, I don't know if I get cold. Oh, I'm gonna have to keep getting some window wipers on you, I think, ain't I? But let me just give this a taste. Bulk's doing any good. Oh. That's like sex in the messy tin, that is. That is the bollocks. Mmm. Right, well, anyway, you don't want to see me eating this. Especially with the camera keep misting up. Oh, mate. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll do this and then I'll do the end bit for tonight. In a minute. Mm. Best. Oh, what was that? Wild animals. <laughs> anyway, guys, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the temperature's massively dropped, especially now I got away from the fire. So, yeah, I know it's going to go down to about minus four tonight. So, but that's the old fun and games, isn't it? Out oh, of focus, it just missed again. Let me give that a one. Yeah, it's just missed. So, yeah, as uh, the king of wild camping says, nothing tragic or magic happens, I shall see in the morning. Uh, yeah, wish me luck. I should be alright. I mean, I've got two sleeping bags, so. <laughs> That's what makes wild camping good, doesn't it? Anyway, I shall see in the morning, guys. Alright, till that. Bye. Uh, good morning, guys. <laughs> Made it through the night. Uh, a couple of times I woke up with a really cold face, but other than that was alright. I'll be, be quick with this one, don't be flashing around. Yeah, I'm not too sure about the tent now. I think you can see that. Condensation everywhere. So, uh, I think it'll be alright. I think it'll be alright in the, in the summer, but. Getting it hammered in the winter. Yeah, I don't think it's a tent for that. <laughs> anyway, I want to get wrapped up, get a coffee on, and make a move. All right, I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Well, I managed to make it through the night. Yeah, if you look at the tarp here. Yeah, it's frosty. Oh, cold. <laughs> In the tent, right down the back. Well, I'm not sure what's going on with this GoPro. It said it had 60% in it, and then it flashing at me saying that the battery's was low and it's shutting down, so I'm gonna be quick. But anyway, as you can see, yeah, rubbish is down there in my bag. I'm all wrapped up, ready to go. I'm going to do a couple of shots on, on my way out, but yeah, I, I don't think the cameras are liking this cold weather. So anyway guys, that's another wild camp off the list done at minus four. And as you can see, is, if you look down here, that's frost off the tent. Yeah, so I'm leaving me putting here. I am going to come back and do the chair at some point. But also, I don't know. I might have to move camp because I didn't realise how close it were to the to that path what does get used now and again. So I nearly got spotted last night. But anyway guys, so that will do me for this one. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a good old thumbs up. <coughs> and if you want to follow along on my adventures and uh, have a think about smashing that subscribe button. Anyway guys, I'll see you on the next one. See you later. Bye.